Okay, I'm John Linville from Mebbin, North Carolina, and I'm a Tandy color computer enthusiast, so I'm here at the uh, Vintage Computing Festival East uh, 9.1 in uh, Wall, New Jersey, uh, showing uh, my Color Computer 2 running uh, Farfall, which is a video game I wrote a couple of years ago. Uh, it's inspired by the game Downfall, which is uh, written for the Atari Jaguar, uh, if it's not retro enough for you already. <laughs> anyway, it's a fun little game, and I like to show it, and uh, some people seem to really like it. <laughs> what I brought here today to the VCF East 9.1 is a TI-99 home computer, very uh, popular in the, in the early 80s, 1980, 1981, sold by Texas Instruments. It's not a very popular computer to uh, most collectors or most historians of vintage 8-bit computers because it didn't stay on the market very long. They actually got muscled out by a lot of the bigger names like Apple and Commodore. But it is actually a very formidable computer. It has a 16-bit microprocessor in it. It also has, it, but it operates sort of in 8-bit mode. That's one of its uh, drawbacks. But once you get the expansion box for it, you can add disk drives, extra memory up to 32K, an RS-232 connectivity, so you can hook it up to bulletin board systems or to modems. And it turns it into a more formidable computer. You add a printer, you can basically have a home computer that can do much of what other home computers did in the 80s. Today I'm demonstrating a program. I found out that somebody had recently wrote Flappy Birds, that the same program that was written for the iPhone and the Android. Somebody had an itch to scratch and wanted to create it for an 8-bit computer, so he wrote it for the TI-99 following on the tail of somebody who wrote one for the Commodore 64. And now it's playing as a demonstration. It works just like Flappy Birds for the, your smartphone. You just, And it is as frustrating as the iPhone and Android version. I think my highest score is like going through 26 of these things. But it seems to be a very big hit. And all that on an 8-bit computer. Imagine if we had this out back in the 80s.